Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to transform this oversized vintage desktop Jordache sweatshirt. So let's go. We have now the shirt is so big and let me tell you what will be the plan. So we will remove the ribbon at the bottom and then we will remove both sleeves and we will cut it and we will rotate it to make the skirt. Then we will take the ribbon, we will divide it by two, one for the top and one for the skirt. We will reduce a little bit the sides and put back the sleeves and this will be how it should look when it's finished. I don't know if we can do it, but we will try. So let's go and do it. To remove this ribbon, I will open the chain stitch. Chain stitch is very easy to do. I'm just pulling out some stitches at the back and then I will just pull the rest at the other side and you see how it goes sometimes get a little bit attached but I repeat the same you know I just pull everything and uh, sometimes even I help myself pulling at the other side too and uh, I can tell you that this is my favorite seam to open it's so satisfying well it's just easier but well, okay so now that I opened the first part I still there is a search that I have to open so I'm just opening a little bit with my seam ripper but I in fact will use my blade I will go very gentle with the blade you have to be careful because you can rip the material it's really 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 dangerous now I have my whole cuff my rib completely out and remember that I will use it for the two things now I will remove the sleeve I always like to mark the left and right and I know it seems very silly but I just don't want to get confused I find it easier so I'm just cutting out exactly in the seam just to make the process easier now I have the shirt you see it's so big I have a lot of material I'm just checking in my mannequin again that I will have enough for the hips because I will use the width for the hips I have the measurements here and I'm calculating what will be the half of the hips to measure it in my shirt and then I will measure it and um, mm, it seems a little tight but because the material is stretchy I think I will be okay now I'm marking my line my cutting line and uh, I'm making sure that you will see the logo of course and now I need a little bit of meditation just to take enough strength to cut it so I'm cutting it and I have it marking the shoulders where the sleeve will go and as you can see the sleeve now are longer than the top part so that's why I will reduce the sleeve so I can sew it I will reduce as well the width the shoulders to make it a little bit you know it still will be shoulders wide but a little bit less so I'm marking where I want to cut and then I will leave in a little bit of seam allowance so it's the time to cut it and I will reserve the material just in case now I see my sleeve I'm marking them to the width that I want and I will just trace the sewing line I am making a little curve to connect the two lines so I'm putting both sides together and I'm marking everything before cutting and I am marking as well my sewing line and the seam allowance now I'm going to the skirt for the skirt I have to open the top and the bottom which before was the sides of the top And now I'm putting my two materials together and folding in the center, which will be the center line. I'm marking the hips height and I know this is my waist measurement and I will just divide it by two and then divide it again. But I will add one inch and a half to make two darts at the front. That will give a little bit nicer look to the skirt. Then I'm marking on a straight line, but I will raise a little bit at the sides, half an inch. That will give more anatomic look to the skirt. Then I'm tracing the hips area. And from there I will go straight 
but I probably will have to take in a little bit after, but I will just wait until I try to the customer. The same thing I did in the waist part, I'm making it in the bottom part. I'm raising that and that make the looks of the skirt fantastic. Now I'm going to my thread wall and I'm choosing the best thread. Mm, let me see. Mm, 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 I think this one is the best. Now I'm marking my darts and uh, usually it's around two and three quarters from the center. You know, I'm just taking a standard measurement. I will make a short dart about three inches and a half and three quarter an inch wide. I'm making sure to snip both sides just to make sure that they will be symmetrical. Now I'm marking my other one, same length, and that's it. Now I'm going to sew, and remember when you sew darts, you sew with a little bit of curve, so it's more anatomic. I'm sewing my other one, same thing, they look fantastic. I haven't even ironed. I'm confirming that they are both the same length. And now I'm going to sew my sides. You can use pins so the material doesn't move and it looks better. Now I'm going to search the sides, but first I will measure my waistband. I will take a little bit less for the waist and more for the rib. I'm searching my skirt with one open side so I will install a zipper. Because even if the material is stretchy, it's not stretchy enough to slide over the hips. The style of the skirt is very pencil skirt and it's very, very fitted. Now I'm going to sew my waistband to the skirt. I'm marking the center with the center and the sides with the sides. I make sure that everything is very well distributed and I'm pinning everything. This is very important for the final look because I'm sewing one material that is bigger than the other. This is how it looks so far. <laughs> Now I'm going to search my last seam so it gets very clean and I'm going to put the elastic inside. I'm cutting the elastic one inch shorter than the waist measurement so it hooks my customer. The elastic is very important because it gives a very nice shape, like a, the structure will look so nice with the elastic. I'm pinning my elastic and I'm inserting inside of my ribbon. I use the safety pins to help me guide through all the ribbing, but you can use bobkins or whatever, doesn't matter. So now that I have it, I pin it and I will measure it just to confirm that it will be okay. And then of course, I will secure it with a stitch. I secure the other side too, and I will search everything before I sew the zipper. Now is the turn of the zipper and I'm just placing it. I am not really sewing it permanently because I have still to try this on the customer and it might need or not further alterations. This anyways, I'm marking just to be sure that it will be in the same place, both sides, but as I said, I'm not really careful now with the zipper. I'm using the regular zipper foot, but not the invisible zipper foot. Now I'm sipping it up. How <laughs> cute, huh? And I'm sewing the hem. And with that, I finish my skirt and I'm going to work with the top part. I mark already the sides, I'm cutting it and I will sew it to the top. For that, I have to mark the center of the sleeve to place it in the shoulders. I'm aligning it with the shoulders and securing it with the pin. And that's my, the extreme of my sleeve and then I will just sew everything. After that, I will search and then I will go ahead and do the same thing at the other side. Mark the center with a notch and then I will align it again with the shoulders and then I will sew, just repeat the same process. I'm making sure as well that they fall in the same place at the front and at the back. That's why I'm measuring from the other sides just to be sure. So it's completely symmetrical. That's very important for the final look of it. I'm sewing it with a quarter inch seam allowance. 
this is how it looks so far let me put it in the mannequin just to be a little bit more self-confident <laughs> that everything is going as planned now i'm going to close the sides like starting from the sleeve and finishing in the waist do the same at the other side and i almost have my sweatshirt done i will just go ahead and look for my rib knit to put it back there this will be a very important step and you will see how you can do that so the first step that i'm gonna do i will close my rib knit by stitching together the two ends this is different to the skirt because the skirt was open with the zipper but this one will be completely rounded all around now i'm going to mark my centers at my side so i will divide it by four and then i will divide my sweatshirt by four too and then i will pin all my marks together in this case because the sweatshirt is so big and my ribbon is smaller i have to find more centers so instead of four pins that i will usually use i will use eight you can see here how is one piece bigger than the other right so i'm going and marking the center and then pin it together and i will do that between all the pins and then i will just be prepared and sew it both pieces together that way it will guarantee that everything will be in unison and here you go but i left around two inches so i can insert the elastic anyways i'm going to my serger and i will search everything except the hole i'm using this hole to insert the elastic so in this case i'm cutting the elastic more or less the same side as her ribs because you don't need it to have it too tight there we need to breathe guys we need to so i'm inserting my elastic and i'm pulling it through the hole and then i'm making sure that it's all straight before i sew it together so i'm stitching my elastic together and i am securing it very well so it doesn't open and now i'm pulling it and i will close the space i left open before and after that i will search it and like that my suit is finished here you go i have my top it's so nice and my skirt is so well fitted the customer loved it well guys that was all for today i hope that you like the transformation i have a still to show to the customer to see if we need further alterations but that's all for today if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe comment like share thank you bye